Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars The Old Republic video. So I just recently did the pack opening for the Light vs. Dark Force Bound packs, and as you guys can see, I got some I got some cool stuff. I got this, decorations, uh, a few cool armor pieces here. But uh, if you guys were looking to get your own and you guys wanted something really cool, the best way to farm these packs is to... Um, is to do the event on different uh, servers. So uh, if you guys know, the first tier, the heroic tier, gives you five force bound packs. And um, and that is due to a legacy achievement. So what that means is now that I've done this on the Ebon Hawk, I leveled up my character to 25, I got, I got done the heroic tier, I got the achievement, and as a result, I got the rewards. I can go ahead and level up a character to 25 on the Shadowlands. And just level up that character to 25, and I'll still get that 5 uh, cartel pack reward. And then I can do it on the Jedi Covenant, I can keep doing that. And the reason I'm saying level it up to 25 is because that's one of the easiest tiers to do. It's very easy to get a character to level 25. You can get it done easily in one to one and a half hours. And then you can do the same on all the on the Europe uh, European servers. So essentially that is 85 cartel that's 85 packs. So in a matter of I don't know, I say you could get that done in maybe a week. If you played only if you leveled up a, you know, a character once a day, you could get it done easily in about two weeks. So um and you don't have to you don't have to grind it all at once. Uh, the event will be going on until October, so you'll have plenty of time to do that on all the servers. But that is one of the best ways to uh, farm these packs because it's very easy to get a character up to level twenty five, and you can do it on each server. Um, and also, if you're worried about getting rare items and uh, you know, not being able to use those items on your main character because you go on some random European server, some German or French European server, and you ha you get like a Arbiter's lightsaber or whatever, uh, and you're wondering, well, how do I get that now to my main character? Well, that's gonna happen to you on all these different servers because they are bind on pickup. So once you open the pack, you get an item. That's for that character, not for any other character. The only way you'd be able to really transfer that to another character would be to use it and unlock it in your collections for cartel coins. So that's kind of the way they're going to get some money out of you for, for opening these packs. However, uh, either way, if you just did want to farm packs and you, we were looking, you had the cartel coins, you were looking to get just this one armor set and you want to open as many packs as you possibly can, you can open 85 packs in a matter of like two weeks, two and a half weeks of work uh, if you only put in maybe one, one and a half hours a day. Uh, another thing to mention is that the next tier is leveling up a character to 50, which takes considerably more time. So obviously if you have tons of time, you can level up a character to 50 on each server, but that would take tons of time. But leveling up a character to 25 is super easy, especially with some of the tips I'm going to post on some videos. So stay tuned for those. I'm posting some really good tips. I personally leveled 7 levels in a matter of 10 minutes. Uh, I'll show you guys how to do that on, on our next video. But, um, but yeah, I just wanted to quickly post this video to let you guys know that is one of the things. So if you didn't know that they're legacy bound, the achievement is legacy bound, so it's not account wide. If you do the heroic tier on one character, that does not now mean you can't go on another server and do it because your account has already, you know, completed it. It's just due to legacies. So you have different legacies on different servers, which means you can easily uh, get a character level 25 and get five packs each time. So that I want to quickly make this video. That is one of the best ways because that's 85 packs right there. Those are at, those are more packs than what you'd get if you completed uh, the whole event. So and you can get that done a lot more quicker than completing the whole event. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.